Uh, it's doing sort of correct. We got the KD3 Pikachu against Zero Falcon. And I think that makes sense if you are KD3 looking at, you know, how the set against Dogs went. Yeah. And thinking that, you know, Zero, pretty similar player to Dogs. Uh, at would, the end of the day, in terms of the characters. In terms anyway. of the character, but they play very, yeah, the play style very is pretty different. But the, the characters is similar. So if I'm placing these characters, the line just go Pico. It worked before. Zero more explosive than, than a dog's. Not that, you know, dogs can't yeah. punish, but I Zero, think he's a little more grounded. Too, yeah, maybe. yeah. Zero, he, he has like these strange options that work only for him. Like for a while, he would do this thing where right here at 0%, he would go up while invincible, and then he'd hit you in the air with like a nair. I oh, actually stole this from him because I'm like, there's... So when he's invincible or his opponent's when, invincible? When he's invincible. He's invincible. I stole that from him. And I was actually getting a lot of mileage out of it. So these, that while That's these ideas are strange, they're quite good. And you know, Zero is someone who is getting into into brackets. So why not learn from him, right? Oh, great up B there, but the up B to top platform, Zero is able to chase him down. KD3 yeah. not opting to do the uh, the harder but safer up B to the ledge. You know, Zero oh, looking. Position quite stronger in the, in the punish department. We talked about it a little bit. It's a short game, potentially. Yeah. There's the up B. That just kills. Stuff like that. And so it's a minute and a people, half and zero is up 1-0. Yeah, people don't understand that when it comes to 64, stick movement is so important. So what you saw there when he did that shield drop up air, it's not as simple as just down up. You have to slightly angle your stick a little bit, make sure you don't do like too much of a fastball. And then when you flick it back up, you want to make sure you're not actually just jumping, right? Yeah, no C so, stick. So that no up C input stick. without jumping is You is have quite to be difficult. making love to your your joystick. Yeah, gotta be gentle. So here we see the counter picks begin. Uh, zero ops to stay with Falcon. And I think that's a reasonable move, you know, force uh, KD3 to show his hand, say, do you have the counter pick? And KD3 says, yes, I do, switches to Kirby. And we'll see how this goes. And uh, depending on the result here, we'll see some interesting counter picks for the rest of the match. But since 0-1 game one, it's a bit like uh, he has the serve, you know? Yeah. If they keep going back and forth and uh, winning on their own counter picks, Zero will take it. Yeah. But Zero so far, not looking too phased by the Kirby. Yeah, looking good. That was a great recovery there from KD3. These are some strange, again, Zero does these strange things, but somehow they work. He's doing like these strange, like, just jump up in the air and do nothing. Short hops. <laughs> jump up in the air and do Tries the Falcon kick. Jump up in the air. It was worth a shot. I guess he's trying to bait him by doing that. Because for me, I just like to stay on the ground. I think it's, I think it's good. and. You know, KD3's Kirby here is looking kind of aggressive. He's not just a stand in place and up tilt. You know, some people, when they uh, have a Kirby as a secondary for Falcon, it'll be very much a stand under the side platform and up tilt. And yes. that's, that's their game plan. Yes, because they've had it done to them so much, so they yes. think, you this know. This is it. Yeah. There was a kind of a very long game between uh, Kiro, Kirby, and Jaime Falcon that went like that. Oh, able to get a little bit of the cutter, but. But Kiro, or KD3. Pretty aggressive here with the Kirby. Kind of goes goes at Falcon. I think aggressive Kirby is underrated. It's strong. Like uh, like Boom has a very oh, aggressive Boom. Kirby. Boom's Kirby is terrifying. And he, he, yeah, I he, voted for Kirby in the poll. Yeah. I want to see his Kirby. Me it's too. So good. I voted Kirby too. But we have KD3 Kirby here, who is a treat to watch as well. And Zero doing a good job at just capitalizing and on his punishes. Yeah, I'll admit, I, uh, I did not predict Zero to make it this far, but he's, he's looking really good. Zero is very... He, he was not even seeded into uh, top 10. Zero is very tricky. He like, is tricky. I think that's what really propels him as a player, is that he's got that factor about him. Where this was a guy seated 11th. Yeah. He doesn't make it too obvious what he's going to do next. Yeah. And I also think a little bit, he kind of makes it up as he goes along. And I think that unpredictability can be so hard. And oh, that fast fall down was so good. When it came to what we yeah, look at that. Yeah, just what you're talking about. Yeah. Like and right a there. Really who, nice who does edge guard. That? 
Who does that? Yeah, that fastball down yeah. there out of nowhere. Like, what an aggressive he, approach. Yeah, we and saw. And he gets the stock off. We saw dogs against KD3, right? And KD3 was more like, okay, he's just gonna do what dogs does. But Zero, not as easily read. Zero will just do something like that, and it'll work, happen to work out because he has the tech skill proficiency to get it done. All right, here we go. And Falcon Zero ditto. switch, staying with Falcon. KD3 trying his third character of the set, switching to Falcon for the Falcon ditto. And let's see, how is KD3 in this? I don't think we've seen this him play this matchup so far. Did you see that just like stand and grab twice from Zero? He's just like, yeah. Silly. Oh, he gets the grab okay. while KD3 was trying to go for the ledge. Oh, the shield jump. You KD3's know, shield jumps are last so time good. we saw Zero was Smash Con, and KD3 and Dogs both outplaced Zero. So maybe Zero's like, you know what? You guys had your fun at Smash Con, but I'm here to show you, you know. Yeah, well, Dogs actually beat Zero in Smash Con yeah. by beating him in this matchup. Yes, yes. And KD3 off to a little bit of a lead. It is cool seeing Falcon Ditto in winter semis. I think it's it's been a little bit of a while. Yeah. Since we, we saw these high level Falcon Dittos. I love that re-grab. Ooh, that combo doesn't quite work though, does it? No. Yeah. Can't quite get an upper there. And he grabs him out of the air. Oh! Oh, that one's a bit of a flub too, and no jump, right? Just Nair? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No way to make it back. He recognized that he didn't have a jump. Three, three to one. That's another good thing that good players do. They pay attention to when you have your jump and when you don't. I think that's something that you can really exploit a lot too. You can catch someone. Like, Kiro said it before, he's not on the screen. Well, the first, but he is a top player in NA scene. And he, he talks about how like you really shouldn't exhaust. Oh, you messed up! That was the stock. Yeah. But yeah, you really shouldn't he, he, he exhaust. He cleans it up. He cleans it up. Yeah, you really shouldn't exhaust your double jump because the double you, jump is precious. You're out of resources, so you want to make sure if you're double jumping, you're either doing it to escape, or you're doing it, you know, mostly to escape or recover. You never like. I can't think of many situations where you're double jumping aggressively. And Maybe. zero here. So KD3 wins. Sticks with Falcon, and Zero has to decide whether he wants to counterpick KD3's Falcon yeah. with Kirby. Yeah. Play the reverse of the matchup he just won. I guess he's he like... He chooses not to. Yeah, I guess he's like, you know what? He chooses to stick with the Falcon at all. I'm curious if KD3 wins this game, yeah. if he would go with the Kirby. Okay. Oh, and he Able gets to it, get it back. back. Okay. Yeah. That fastball down there, a little scary. Right ledge. I like that from him. So he did a stick hop, and then he, he didn't fastball, so he had a bit more time. That was such a good adaptation. Yeah. Did you guys catch that? So the previous game, KD3 actually won off of up smashing a fair from ledge by Zero. This time, Zero fares from ledge again, but he doesn't drift all the way in. He does a fair from ledge where he just returns to ledge. KD3 up smashes again, just like he did before, and... Zero is able to punish it's such a good adaptation. Play and look at this adaptation. Yes. He's up four socks Holy. to one, and he's not been hit. 45 like seconds I said, into he's the game. Trying to show, you know what? You guys had your fun at SmashCon. But. Yeah. This is a different Zero that we're seeing here. And he is off to a big lead. This may be a very short set. Well, that fair from ledge works out for KD3. Nice patience there. Okay, the but tech chase. Crazy. Ooh, cool combo with the fair. Very nice. Custom combo zero. KD, ends it KD3 with the nair. can turn it up too. Like, he can absolutely turn it up and oh, be I'd love technical. to see this go to a game. I've five. seen him go crazy. Like, oh, they're both uh, missing the grabs. <laughs> I mean, what the do you nerves. get? It's like, well, I think it's less nerves, more like, you know, testing, testing their faith. Yeah. <laughs> that might be part of it. Just and as KD3 I was saying, finds it's, the combo Falcon and it's, last stock. it's Falcon Dittos. He was up four. He was on four stocks without having been hit, yeah. and suddenly we're seeing last stock. Oh, no. But he gets the grab. KD3 doesn't DI Huge. away, so he does get a second chance. Uh, nice DI Ties on stage. This should be it. Yeah, we're up B and zero takes it. Wow, insane what was that? set there. Was he just he was confirming to someone? He's like, I got it. Yeah, making sure. I think there was a bit of a, a bit of applause from the crowd that he was enjoying. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, he's a very animated guy. 
And we're uh, seeing zero in winners finals. There was there's a story about Smash Con actually. I keep mentioning it, but there's a story. Oh, there's so S many stories about so Smash Con. Dogs and Zero were playing, right? And Zero was kind of making a, a big kind of show out of it. Like a like almost like a comedy act. Dogs said that when they first played, Zero sat down and said, Okay, I'm gonna let you win this game. I'm gonna let you win. I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna let you win this game. 